uh, today I'm just making this video to address some people, right? Some people have asked me about the interview process at Microsoft, all right? So I want, I'm just gonna talk about my experience at Microsoft, right? So I'm gonna tell you guys how, what happened. And um, yeah, so you guys can see from the title, right? I was rejected, then I was accepted, right? So make sure you guys stay tuned, right? I'm gonna tell you guys exactly what happened, right? So let's get into it. The whole process started by applying, right? So you gotta apply, so you get a job. So how I ended up applying was, you know, I was, I was working full time, uh, but my the current position that I was in, I was underpaid, right? So I was looking for a better opportunity. So I went to my school's job uh, website, it's called Handshake, uh, and I saw that Microsoft was uh, looking for new grads. So I saw this as a great opportunity. So I'm like, I just graduated, so that that, that could be a great opportunity for me. So it, were, it was around August, actually. Uh, I saw that and I applied. And um, yeah, and after a couple of weeks, I get this uh, I get this email from the recruiter asking me to set up uh, things for a phone screen. So uh, I ended up choosing a date that was like, you no know, far into the future, right? Like a month, like, you know, ahead, so that I could have enough time to a practice right to, to prepare for the interview right yeah so i ended up prepping for a whole month right don't worry guys i'm gonna make a a particular video to address how i prepared right so make sure to subscribe and like this video if you guys are interested in that so so the day of the interview came and um i it was after my after work uh because of the time difference um when i got off work it was still like around when i got off work at five it was like 2 p.m. there, so my interview was at like 6.30. So that means it was like 3.30 where they were, right? So um, the interview all started off pretty good. I got this link, which I clicked on, which opened Microsoft Teams, and uh, we did the interview through Microsoft Teams, right? So I saw we were on video chat. I met the interviewer. We talked about, you know, uh, my resume at first, you know, all the different projects that I've done, right? And then uh, we talk about also some bureau rules, right? Uh, the interview was an hour long, so that, that we spent 30 minutes on that only, right? And then the next, uh, the following 30 minutes, right, we ended up uh, doing this coding exercise on Codility, right? So he gave me this link, which brought me to um, to use that um, online sharing environment that's called Codility. And then um, he gave me this really, really good question. It was it a was, uh, array question. I can't really go into the details about it. But it was a very, very fair question. Uh, there, there's so many different approach to solve it. And I went through all of the, those different approach. And then I all, I slowly got into the most uh, optimal solution. And uh, the interviewer was very pleased. He was very happy about it. So that made me happy. Uh, and also, he told me, he asked me uh, things like, you know, some conceptual CS concepts, right? Like, you know, different sorting algorithms, right? We talked about merge sort. A quick sort we talk about their time complexity their space complexity as well and um yeah and then he was very happy of, of everything and he told me that i should hear back from the recruiter uh in a couple of days uh so i heard back the following wednesday right so uh with a congratulation that i have made it on site i did pretty good at the uh phone screen so they're inviting me on site and uh the recruiter told me that uh, a schedule is going to be reaching out to me to set up uh, like, you know, which date I want to choose for the on-site. So as you guys know, I picked a date that was, you know, as far away as possible because I wanted to prepare, right? So I chose a date that was like a month uh, ahead, right? <laughs> In advance, right? The, so I, I chose the following month. So yeah, yeah, uh, mind you, I was working full time, right? So I would, um, when I get off work, I would grind uh, and prepare for the interview uh, because, you know, I was, you know, I wanted to get that better job because I was underpaid on my uh, current position. So that kind of what motivated me to uh, keep going on lead code and trying to improve myself and become better. So uh, the the day of the interview came, right? Uh, the So I had four rounds of coding, right? Uh, with bear rows in between them, right? All right, so the first interview right, was, was cra something crazy to happen, right? Um, the interviewer, uh, his power went away what made an interview so that was insane um there was some kind of storm going on so that's why the thing went out so i had to call the recruiters right tell them hey I, uh, my interviewer thing kind of went off so what should i do they told me that i don't have to worry about that 
and to continue continue on to the next round of interviews uh, they'll schedule another one if that's needed right that's what they let me know so so now the second right interview right second round of interview was with this uh, research scientist guy I think it was like a manager or something uh, he asked me uh, this uh, dynamic per this hard dynamic programming question uh, I was surprised because I, I thought that Microsoft doesn't ask dynamic programming but he told me that uh, he's not looking for me to completely solve it but he wants to know my thought process my communication and my problem solving skills uh, of you know, the way I'm gonna approach that problem so yeah so I approached it pretty well and I was able to you know uh, come up with a solution which I passed and it was pleased and um, he told me good luck on my other other interview so all right, so uh, round three, right? So round three was my best round yet, right? This round, uh, I met with a viewer, we clicked immediately, everything was fine, right? And then he asked me a pretty, pretty good question. I'll, I'll say Likud Medium. Um, it's an array, array question. So uh, this one was pretty good. I was able to solve it, you know, with the most optimal solution. But um, so he kept changing the the time and, and space constraints right and I had to change the code accordingly so that was pretty funny also asked me how do I handle errors and stuff like that and I did pretty good on that so this round was my best round yet so now that was the last round right round four so that round was the hardest round um, yet that I've had right so he asked me this very ambiguous question um, which resulted me in having to ask him a lot of follow-up questions about it, right? Because I, I thought it was gonna be like leak code, you know what I'm saying? So just uh, basic, you know, you get the input and you expect an output, right? It's very clear and concise, right? That's what I was expecting, but uh, it wasn't the case. So I had to ask a lot of follow-up questions. I asked him like, what class you want me to use, what this woman to use and all that. So uh, it was kind of a graph problem. And I also kind of designed, so I had to design the classes, design the objects that I'm gonna use, also what technologies. I'm gonna, gonna use like you know like the cloud and all of that and we also kind of talked about uh, the different like cloud uh, terminology and stuff like that and how would I handle a situation where a um, machine fails on the cloud and how do I handle that situation so we kind of talked about that uh, all the conceptual things so this round uh, went well even though at first it started out wrong that's why it's very important to um, talk to an interviewer and get as much information as possible so you can go with the uh, solution, right? Before you craft your solution, get all the requirements and everything, and then proceed to solve the, the question. So after this last round, I thought I was done, all right? But the following day, I got an email from one of the recruiters telling me to um, schedule a time to make up for that interview that I missed, right? So I scheduled that for the next week, and then uh, next week came the, the day of the interview. Uh, I met with the same interviewer that lost power, right? So we kind of talked about what happened. He told me what happened. And I'm like, all right. He told me that he was sorry. I told him that it's no problem. I understand there's a storm that's going on. He asked me a leak on hard question, right? This question was crazy. At first, I was really struggling, you know, but after a couple of times and I started to understand the problem, I was able to solve it. So I was very pleased with that last round. And he was pleased as well. He asked me, um, I asked him how it's like working at Microsoft and it, you love Microsoft and all that. Uh, how's the work-life balance? I asked him a lot of questions. And yeah, he was very pleased. Everything was happy. Uh, I was happy of the answers I got from him. So a couple of weeks went by, about three, four weeks. Uh, then I hit up the uh, recruiter because uh, I wanted to know result, right? And I, I asked her, am I still being considered for that position? Um, she responded to me, said, hey, I'm uh, sorry about that. You know, there, like, the election thing was going on around that time. So... Uh, they told she told me to just wait it out you know like uh, I should hear back by the end of that week right so it was around uh, in the, like November right so I waited for that right so um, yeah I received an email telling me that I got rejected right so that that was very you no know, not the uh, decision I was expecting you know but I was alright you know but later that day guys I received a phone call from the Microsoft recruiter, right? So uh, at first I didn't pick up the phone call because I didn't know who it was, right? And then the voicemail, the recruiter said to call him. That's another recruiter, right? Said to call him, right? So I'm like, all right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give him a call. All right, so I give him a call. He told me that uh, he sent out that email by mistake, right? 
and that uh, if I'm uh, still interested in that position, you know, in my head, I, I was like, yeah, of course, I'm still interested, of course. But um, I told told him in a nonchalant way, say, yeah, yeah, I'm still uh, considering it. He said, all right, he'll, he'll, he'll let me know by the end of, of the day, uh, the following day, of, no, of the decision, right? He told me that they made that mistake because they forgot to include um, the interview, the makeup interview that I did, right? So that that's kind of what messed, messed up things a little bit. So yeah, following day, uh, the following day while I was working, right, I got this email from Microsoft saying, congratulations, you are receiving an offer. So I was extremely happy to, to get that decision, you know. I know now I, I see that all my hard work have paid off, right? All the, you know, time that, you know, after work, I will grind lead code and work and do that on the weekend as well. That that really um, came to an end, right? So I was very, very happy to get that, you know. It was a huge relief, you know. Now I'm finally gonna get uh, a pay that I deserve, guys. And I was extremely happy. Yeah, guys, so as you guys can see, this is the story about how I got rejected and then uh, I got accepted uh, around that same time. So yeah, uh, yeah, so no clickbait. So yeah, if you guys love this kind of content, let me know guys in the comment section. Also like and subscribe. Uh, and um, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video.